Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So as you understand, this is uh, Marx versus rank analysis for Comet K Shift 2. So in the lines of the similar video which I have made for Shift 1, this is applicable to Shift 2 students. And uh, la uh, this year overall 1.05 lakh students have attended. So approximately there will be 35,000 students which will be there in every shift. And all the students of the shift 2 will be compared with the performance of students under the same shift. And uh, based on the marks, the, a percentile will be created and based on percentile, finally ranks will be created. So the toughness level of the exam is very important and I have did they posted this, uh, you know, poll last uh, you know, evening and this is the response for the shift 2. So it's 14% of the students feel that uh, it was an easy shift, but 39% student feel that it is a moderate shift and 47%, very big amount of them still think that it was a tough shift, right? So this is 443 votes. So this is a quite decent big size, you know, sample for 43 students overall as of now has responded for the shift too. So let's see the Comet K marks versus rank which you can expect. So on the higher band, there is not much difference, right? 170 to 180 as typical, 1 to 10 students. And then between 160 to 169 and also similar range, 11 to 525. And 150 plus marks, you will can get up to 80 ranks, right? And 140 to 149 where there will be difference created so 80 to 250 ranks you can expect if you are getting 140 plus marks in the shift 2 so that this is the best range where you can get all the branches from csc side which is with the bms or msrit or you know rv college so in that range so this is an excellent range and uh, Moving further, if you talk about the 130 to 139, there the, uh, you know, also you can see the ranks which is possible between 250 to 800. So, well, under 1000 rank you can expect. And 120 plus, you know, where you can get rank up to 800 to 2200. And if you are getting 110 plus marks, which is also an excellent score, you can expect a rank under 4000. So that is the range and 100 plus marks that is 100 plus 209 right in that range under 6500. So these are the good range where you can get a decent branch in the top notch option. So 100 plus should be your overall target and uh, if you are managing between 90 to 99 so their competition increases in this range you can expect between 6500 to 10,000 rank right and between 80 to 89 you are still under 10,000 to 15,000 range which are also you get a very good college at a, with a good amount of CSE specialization branches and also in the top colleges you get ECE in this range also so this should be also excellent range and you should be targeting now further uh, if 70 to 79 is also good in this shift so 15,000 to 21,000 should get it 60 to 69 marks is also you should get between 21 to 30 K and between 50 to 59 marks between 30 to 40 K. So th this is still the range where you can get a decent branch, but you will get mostly in the mid tier college, not in the top notch colleges beyond top 12 colleges. You can expect between 12th rank college to say 25th rank college. You can get. CSE specialization branches and uh, 40 to 49 that means you are getting under 50 marks your rank will go up to 40k ranks to uh, 55k and 30 to 39 marks like 55 to 75k and beyond that it will be the same range which was there in the earlier uh, phase 1 or shift 1 uh, analysis right so 20 to 29 marks it will be uh, you know 75,000 to 90,000 and then less than 20 marks your range will be definitely 90,000 plus so that's all overall you know, analysis for the shift 2 which was considered tougher than the shift 1 so thank you for watching please do subscribe channel to get similar updates take care and bye